And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Teamer Midrange. I think that's like the best name for it, I guess. I was thinking about calling this, you know, Teamer Hydra. We've called that, uh, called this deck Teamer Hydra before, um, after War of the Spark. Because basically what we're doing here is we're putting together a Bioessence Hydra deck. I know a lot of y'all are a fan of Bioessence Hydra, like I am, and I've had a lot of people asking to have an, a new Bioessence, a Teamer Bioessence Hydra deck. So this is what I got. Um, this is what I put together. And kind of need to get this done because you never know. Maybe we're going to have Oko banned in eight days with the next announcement. Who knows? So no better time to play this deck than now. But yeah, talking about Bioessence Hydra, it's a card that, that you want to have um, Planeswalkers with a lot of loyalty in play. Because it enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it for each loyalty counter on Planeswalkers you control. And of course, as we know... Kaios! Thanks, Kaios. Thanks for that reset. As we know, there's not like really a better Planeswalker with mana cost to loyalty ratio than Oko Thief of Crowns. Just being a three mana Planeswalker ticks up to six immediately and has the plus two that can keep on going. You can have Okos with crazy loyalty numbers, and then we can get Bioessence Hydra with crazy stats there as well. Royal Scions also, uh, another Planeswalker with a ton of loyalty. Um, Domri is a Planeswalker that just adds mana, so helps ramp us to Bioessence Hydra. Same with this Domri. This Domri is really important, though, because this one can give your creatures Riot, so you can give your creatures Haste, so we can give our Bioessence Hydra Haste. So that's why Domri Chaos Bringer is pretty important here. And we got a couple of copies of Sarkin also, because we got these cheaper Planeswalkers, and so Sarkin works really well with them. Um, all right, I'll update our sub goal over here. So the the goal, as you can see, I'm not playing two drops. The goal of this deck is to definitely play one mana, a Boreal Grazer, or Gilded Goose, and then turn two, play a three mana Planeswalker. That's definitely what we're trying to do, is turn two, play these things. So, you know, we have our four Grazer, four Goose, but that's, you know, that's only eight cards. So it's not like you're going to have one of those eight cards all the time in your hand. So I think we have to play the four once upon a time, so we make it, you know, give us a better shot of having one of those one mana cards in our opening hand. Oh, sorry, I just kind of choked on my own words there. I'm getting choked up about this card, I guess. Okay, reset. <clears throat> so we have our Once Upon a Times that to help us get these one drops on turn one. Now, because because I'm playing Once Upon a Time, then I want to be playing more creatures also. <clears throat> I really wouldn't mind having more Planeswalkers in this deck. But I want to play more creatures so that we have other good hits with Once Upon a Time. And so that's why we're going with the Wicked Wolves Questing Beast. We got a Spark Double. Because playing Oko and then playing a Spark Double and copying Oko is, is always amazing. I have one Krasis for the late game that we can find with Once Upon a Time. Um, <clears throat> but it's not something that... Like, I'm not playing Nissa. I'm not really focused on playing a large Krasis. And the other thing about wanting to play a lot of creatures is this this Domri that I wanted to play, the minus three, you know, grabs creatures. I don't have really enough to make this minus three very good. Like, this minus three is not very good in my deck. But I still want to play a good amount of creatures. So that's, like, the tension. Like, there are so many cards that I want to play in this deck because there's a lot more Planeswalkers. Like, I, I would like to play Moot Yanling and um, Kiora even. But then, like, even with, like, with Kiora, we want to have more four power creatures, so, like, having, like, Gruul Spellbreaker and more Questing Beasts and stuff like that. And, yeah, it'd be nice to play Nissa's. Nissa's are really powerful. We can only fit 60 cards in, though, but there's just so many different cards that would be, um, you know, fun to play in the deck or good to play in the deck. Um, you know, could go a lot more Planeswalker heavy, like I said, like Vivian, like, at the four mana slot. Um, Vivian, Tamio, Chandra, a lot of good Planeswalkers there. Could even have a top end of like Sha of the six mana Chandra um, and Ugin. So there's, there's just a ton of Planeswalkers in the team or colors. Um, but I think this is, this is kind of what I settled on as far as um, knocking it down to just 60 cards. But I could see just moving away from creatures altogether and making it like just tons of Planeswalkers and Bioessence Hydras. 
or could go a lot heavier on the creatures. I don't know if we can go that much heavier on the creatures. If we go heavier on creatures, you have to maybe get rid of Bioessence Hydra. This is about as many, like the least amount of Planeswalkers that want to be playing with Bioessence Hydra. Anyway, that's our deck. We're going to play some ranked. We're going to play four matches over in ranked. Hopefully go 4-0. That'd be cool. Let's see how the deck plays. Let's see how it plays. Domri, yes, Domri's in here to give Bioessence Hydra haste. Dom Domri makes Bioessence makes Bioessence Hydra a whole lot better. And it's a, it's a lot better than like Rhythm of the Wild um <clears throat> or other options. All right, I need to draw a land. We have the Temple to Scry. That's not a land. Land? No. Uh, that's unfortunate. That should help us hit our land drop. Put a bunch more spells down to the bottom, so you good chance we'll kind of start drawing some lands. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Zappa. Yeah, it shows that you're subbed there. There No no notification came up. Um, if you refresh your stream, there may be a, a spot to put up a notification. Huh. You'd better hope you delay our quest no further. Let us plan for the trials ahead. Um, I I'll like look at the results of the Mythic Championship and stuff afterwards. Like I, I saw like the results of Day one and day two, like the records of the decks and everything, but but I'm not watching it right now because we're streaming. Probably should have just discarded Domri instead of Wicked Wolf. I'm not sure. Like worst case scenario, I can play the Domri here. What is my strategy here? I'm hoping to Domri, then tick up, then once upon a time. And then they'll be able to kill Domri, but that's not damage that they're doing to Royal Scions. Gross. So I could, 
So if, if I play Sarka in the next turn and make a token, then if they have to ferry, they get to bounce the token and get a whole lot of value with bouncing the token. I'm known for my excellent timing. Don't worry, I got Which you. we know they have to ferry now, so I'm definitely not going to do that. I've got time. Unfortunate, they have another 4 3 here that pressures my planeswalkers. I don't really like my options. Whoops. Don't really like any option. your mind growing and I, I will learn what nobody yet knows I think it's probably better just to play Royal Scions plus one than Sarkin plus one. If, you know, we're deciding between one of them to plus one. I think this next turn I'll be going Sarkin plus one probably. I'll protect you. All right, so they're just going to kill Royal Scions. Retreat is a valid strategy. Bone Crusher Giants have been incredible. And well, I mean, it's obviously it's just the Teferi. I guess not really the Bone Crusher Giant, but still. I wish I would have discarded the Sarka instead of one of these Wicked Wolves earlier. I'd rather just have the Wicked Wolf kill the 4-3. The We got three more cards in hand than I do, two more lands, and one more creature in play. Okay. All right, so they're the Cavalier Fires version. The, uh, I don't know. That Aether Gust they played was pretty backbreaking. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I want to do here. I don't really want Domri. I mean, do I just take out Domri and play Disdainful Stroke? If they have Teferi and play, Disdainful Stroke's not doing anything. Um, yeah. I'm just going to do that. Could play a whole bunch of ether gusts. The fires, a cavalier, bone crusher giant, that kind of stuff. I don't know. I don't really want to water down the deck too much. I 
I kind of feel like I should be a 26. I have 25 lands in here. I kind of feel like I should be a 26 land deck. Yeah, there was a sound bug from the previous game. Yeah, even with geese, I think we could be playing 26. I right, well, got punished for not taking the land there now. Every tale about me is absolute nonsense. Absolutely. Let's broaden your existence. Punished for not taking the temple. I was hoping to, you know, if I drew a land, I was going to be able to play goose plus play the land plus hold up disdainful stroke. And it helped me more for casting Sarkin and stuff on the next turn. Quite the nibble. Oh dear. And if I would have played taken the blue green temple, would have been able to play Wicked Wolf this turn. So yeah, not so that really hurt. Taking the goose instead. Yeah, you know, hindsight and all. Hopefully we draw land. Yay. Surely you must be famished. Hmm. Well, never mind. So the reason why I plus two instead of plus one is because I wanted this this Oko to be able to plus two and the other Oko to plus one because the other Oko was going to have more loyalty. My lack of presence. We went to plus two one and plus two the other, and I did it immediately because if they would have had removal for the Sorry, Oko in response, that's more like it. I don't want. Um, I'm just moving on. This is just a terrible match. <clears throat> I don't want to not get anything there. I feel like I need more land. I don't know. I guess I, I just need to take the land with the once upon a time, I guess. Because the thing with Grazer, Grazer doesn't actually add a mana. 
Let me take out the questing beast for another land. I don't know, we'll play one more match here and see. But, you know, I'd, both those games I just was stuck on two mana for a while. Like, that's not really anything that we can do and try to win games with that. No, this is not a Trail of Crumbs deck. No, that's not a... We're not playing anything that's not going to be a creature or a Planeswalker for all the synergies with the other things. We're only going to be playing lands, creatures, and Planeswalkers. So, temple. I want to keep the red source. I'd rather have the temple than the steam vents, but I want to keep the red source. Yeah, we're, you know, we're just playing like Once Upon a Time and Domri that need us to play a lot of creatures, and then we're playing Bioweth and Sider that need us to play a lot of Planeswalkers. And we're not playing anything else. Wallow in your deceit. Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. Yeah, it's a good chance that I should just be playing Paradise Druid instead of Grazer. That's that's another thing. Paradise Druid It's it it doesn't help with like my very best hands of like going like Grazer into Oko is like my very best hand and then you know turning Oko into a 3 3 kind of thing or turning the Grazer into a 3 3. But Paradise Druid is a whole lot more consistent. It's a lot better, you know, on like turn two and everything like that. I see you don't share my vision. Look at Wolf's a good draw. They didn't have another food to sacrifice for the goose anyway, but still just another threat out here to keep this going. We have just looked like a team or food deck. I'm just going to take out, like, I, I got to take out stuff. I'm going to just take out one of these grazers. And kind of trimming around the edges and some of the other cards to take out. <laughs> just no lands in here. My 25 land deck.
This would be the, the time to draw a three mana planeswalker. Yeah, I also have the the once upon a times that are the four once upon a times that are uh, trying to grab more lands. I'm hoping that makes Grazer a little bit better, but Grazer just works so well with Oko of just being a just a little bit of an acceleration with then Oko turning it into a 3-3 three, three creature right away. But yeah, Paradise Druid could still definitely be better. We could see that. Hey, Narnen. Thanks for that resub. New job and new hours mean I get to see more of you on YouTube than here. Well, hope, yeah... Um, hope the new job, new hours. Hope everything is going good there. And that's all right. Don't get to see you as much here, but yeah, that's why YouTube's there. So get to catch the me over there. Thanks, Narian, and thanks for continuing Choking out with that support. I appreciate that. Your new look is enchanting. I don't think I can just play Sarkin, make a make a dragon. And the dragon gets turned into an elk, and then they attack Sarkin with this three three, and then it's just kind of a big mess. I don't think I can really deal with that. I, I want to just play. I want to have the Veil of Summer, but my my opponent's hand's a whole lot better than my hand, that's for sure. Wicked Wolf looks pretty bad. I think I'm going to sideboard out Wicked Wolf. Get some of the other cards I took out back in. It's not poisoned. Trust. Yeah, I, I don't really want this Wicked Wolf. Um, I'm just gonna move on with life. Yeah, this is not a good Wicked Wolf matchup. I don't know really why I kept it in. This is a good Lava Coil matchup. I definitely want Questing Beast. We'll get Domery back in here on the play. And then uh, we'll play some... Actually, we'll play some Aether Gusts. Hmm. It's kind of my only answer to Oko. Yep, kept the sec the Sarkin secret. And the Veil of Summer secret, kept them both secret. Let's take out a Veil of Summer, though. And get another Sarkin back in on the play with taking out the Wolves. All right, here we go. That was just a poor game. It happens. A loss is a loss. Doesn't matter if we lose by a lot. We'll just focus on the next one.
<laughs> yeah, gotta pull a frozen and let it go. There you go. Alright, so they're going to have less mana now without having that goose. Make it more difficult for this trail, you know, for them to be like playing stuff, activating trail of crumbs, everything like that. What know you of dragon? Come to me! All right, go dragons, go. Ooh, they are struggling over there. I need this bioessence inside her back. That we put down to the bottom. your heart to the magic the dance she's looking for lands come to me and I'll take the fable passage where I get to shuffle go grab the bios inside her again <laughs> yeah see Sarkin never or my opponent never saw the Sarkin Looks like maybe getting rid of that goose slowed my opponent down a whole lot. Mm, you're too close minded. Walk with me, sing with me. I will in life. I think a little merriment is in order. What we got? Spark double? Hmm. Spark double's pretty cool. I mean, I just want to play the Domery, but I, I probably should play the Spark double. If I play Domery, I get to tick up add mana and play Once Upon a Time also. Um and look for BioS and Hydra and all that kind of stuff. I want to do that. Spark doubling Sarkin is arguably the better thing to be doing right now. I mean, well, it probably is. But I want to try to play a BioS and Hydra. Yeah. That's what I want to do with life. Might demands power. Impossible. I mean, I didn't have any haste creatures. Like, you know, if I would have sparked double the Sarkin, it wasn't. I wouldn't be able to attack for any more. Nothing has haste. I could only attack for eight. Yeah, 
<laughs> you're enjoying the Ogre of Madness event because it's like gambling. Never know what will happen. Alright, well they're dead. Alright, BioS and Cytra time. A little power can go a long way. I'm glad we get to haste to BioS and Cytra. Old 1515. That's pretty good. 1515 haste trampler. We'll take that. We'll take the old 1515 haste trampler. Hey, we get a guilt of Ravica pack. All right, let's see what we get. I have all of the cards in Guild to Ravnica. Yeah, that's a set I have all of them. I, I played a lot of Limited with that set. So, yeah, we're just getting gems. But even in, like, the Mythics, it had all the Mythics anyway. That pack wasn't too valuable, but... Oh, well, 20 gems. <laughs> so I'm glad we got to do that. That's That's the point of our deck. Pumped up Hydras. So, speaking of gambling, we got Once Upon a Time, which I hope is a green land. There's five, nine, 13. There's 13 turn one green sources. Forest. Forest. Oh yeah, Once Upon a Time is pretty OP. <laughs> like, like, how could we possibly keep this? But you can with Once Upon a Time. And you just get turn two, okay. So that was not a land, unfortunately. If we hit this other land, then we'll have turn three, other Oko. Turn three, double Oko on the play is pretty ridiculous. We gotta draw a land, though. Oko. Sacrifice a creature. Interesting. Oh dear. That's got to be the move of somebody who knows my hand. Right, like if they do the sacrifice of planeswalker, I had another Oko to play. You'd better hope you delay our quest no further. Let me synthesize the facts. Um It's not poisoned. Trust me. Maybe I could have just, sac maybe I could have just discarded the other Oko. 
No, I'm not sure. <laughs> the next BNR announcement is in eight days on the 18th of November. So it's next. It's not tomorrow, Monday, but the Monday afterwards. Bones. <clears throat> All right, so they're down to twelve. So I think we, I'm definitely going to turn this into an elk. Not sure if I want to turn the priest into an elk or turn a food into an elk also. Every tale about me is absolute nonsense and absolutely true. Could also just steal the priest. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. I'm gonna do that. I assure you, our deal. Is worth your while. The thing about doing that is if they do kill the goose, then I'll have... Or then they would have um, the ability to kill the Oko, kill one of the Okos. They're just going after me. All right, so um, they can gain one life, so they go to 16, but I have 16 here. So we're good. You will feel the lick of my flames. I will 
As long as they don't have instant speed removal, that is. Black Geppetto with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there. into my face and put on your true shape. I felt this good in a while. Right. Why was I just thinking that it was only just going to be the Cauldron Familiar? I'm dumb. Anyway, Black Geppetto with that resub there gets us to sub number 5 on the day. Welcome to the feast. Probably should have I should have sacked this and gained three life. That would have been safer. Does that have the six damage? Yeah, they do. Well, let's see. That's five. Come on. So yeah, I messed this up. Oh, yep, that'll do it. Uh, I messed it up. We attacked with the food it was lethal they would have yeah i guess because they could have blocked but then if they would have blocked then it would have been lethal so yeah i mess i just messed that all up that happens learning is good and so if i'm ever in that scenario again learned a lot there all right so lava coil yeah, let's get these lava coils in here. Do I want... Correct, I should have attacked with the with the food instead of sacrifice. I, I just didn't really realize that they were going to be sacking that to gain three life. I just forgot about that. And so I just... So I didn't play completely optimally because I thought I was going to be okay. So yes, I, I messed that up. Uh... Not sure about flame sweep. If I want that or not. All right, they can't claim the firstborn a Hydra. All right, let's try this.
you could definitely play three wolf into uh, spark doubles. Um, I don't know. If, I don't know if we were playing enough three mana walkers for for more spark doubles though, because like spark double is it's it's awesome when you get to copy Oko and also awesome copying Royal Scions like it is. But you know, like there's only seven. Like that's only like seven uh, Royal Scions and Okos. It's like okay copying this. I'm honestly not sure that we have enough. Um, that we just have enough uh, three mana walkers for more um, for more spark doubles. Spark double your Hydra, but yeah, I mean, if you, whenever you're untapping with Hydra, that means you get to attack with Hydra and you're probably winning. It's pretty rare that you untap with Hydra and you don't win. It doesn't happen that often. Like, it's, that's, that's nothing, like, that's not why we're playing Spark Double. I will invert the world to watch kings grovel. It's not poison. Trust that doesn't happen too often. So yeah, I could have, could have ticked up on the Grazer here. Um, and made it a 3-3 in attack. I think we're going to just try to get some more loyalty on the Oko. If I knew I was going to have an Oko, I would have kept the, go the Goose. I would have rather had the Goose turn one if I knew I was going to be... Uh, if I was going to have an Oko and have extra food. But at the time, we didn't have any extra food. Let's broaden your existence. Oh, I look forward to seeing you running away. I was raised by wolves. Though, so they might have also just been big dogs. And so I only know about the goose on the bottom, right? Yeah. I don't want to draw a goose. So I'm probably not going to shuffle this until I untap and draw my card first. No, I'm not not gonna cat, not gonna fight with the cat. I would rather have Domri have more loyalty. The more loyalty on your planeswalkers, the better. It's just a cauldron familiar. I don't need to kill that thing. So ho hopefully we draw a land. Eh, I guess that doesn't matter. I guess, I guess drawing a land's not really that good. Never mind. Never mind what I was going to say. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, you can find all the decks there on the Stream Decker page. So do I want to fight and kill Priest of Forgotten Gods? Or just tick up? I'm definitely going to make this food a 3-3 three, three, so that Rampage doesn't kill Hydra.
So that's going to make Hydra 16-16. Or 17-16, uh, I guess. And I can either kill the 3-3. Or just make this an 18-17. I think I'm just going to tick up. We won't answer to other guilds. So, with nothing else, with us not drawing anything, the Hydra can attack for 21 next turn by plus 2 on Oko and plus 1 on the Domri. But, of course, they're going to have a little bit more life than that with the Cauldron Familiar, which is of in shenanigans. I'm glad I didn't fight. I like having five loyalty here. It's harder to kill Domri. They can if they want. You know, if they use all their Witches Oven stuff right now, they can do five damage. Yeah, it tramples. Oh, please, sir. Give me some more. But a forces them to do all this. So basically if I draw any planeswalker if I draw any planeswalker in the deck. Uh maybe not any planeswalker. Oh please, sir. Give me some more. They're gonna be 25 with seven toughness. 32 damage. You expect me to tuck my tail between my legs? Yeah, so not, it's not if I draw any Planeswalker. That's not a good draw. Should just attack for 18. Should have ticked up on Oko first. I think I've determined that I'm just going to do this. Oh dear. So that's one less damage I should have done there. Yeah, that's what that's what y'all want to do is turn the the devil into an an elk. I could have also minus five and and just traded and taken their devil. Um. And you know, get, give them the food, take the devil. I like one damage with this. It's just not. I don't think that's really worth it. Yeah, I think it's better to yeah. So I could have minus five and and trade parts the here, but I think it's probably better just to to tick up and keep the. Keep it where the Oko is difficult for my opponent to kill. It's a lot easier to kill a, a four or a uh, three loyalty Oko. That puts me down to one right now. Do they have something to do the extra point of damage? The 
have another familiar or oven, I die. Killing the cat with the ping doesn't doesn't really do too much, I don't think. If I would have stolen. It doesn't feel like my opponent has it, because last game when they had it, they said good game beforehand and everything. In this game, they're playing slowly and not saying anything, so it doesn't feel like they have the extra point of damage. Okay, you like you like Simic? Just Simic for Bio Essence Oko. There's definitely enough cards to play in Just Simic. You get a better mana base and everything too. There's there's just so many cards in Teamer to play. I just really like it with four mana um four mana Domri. Yeah, maybe I should be playing Wolf instead of Flame Sweep. It's possible I should be playing Wolf instead of Flame Sweep. I guess I could have gone Grazer now. Since I know I have that extra land. But they they basically have like two cards to Wicked Wolf. Like one, like or like may both Mayhem Devil and Um Midnight Reaper are kinda hard to A wicked wolf. All right, let's draw land. Let's have royal scions with <clears throat> veil of summer to protect it. That would have been nice. Yeah, 
Hey, Coltane. Should have just cast the Once Upon a Time and not cast the Royal Scions yet. Should have waited on that. But this is why I don't have more than just the one Spark Double. Because there's times where Spark Double looks really bad. I'm just going to... Play a four mana one four. It's the best I got. I mean, you can't spark double your opponent's stuff. Um. Yeah, I mean, I think. If you want to play Priest in the Jun Sacrifice deck, you just got to switch a couple of things up. You know, like you need to you kind of need to play like Gutter Bones and uh, claim the Firstborn also. Which is possible, but I, I like Paradise Druid and Trail of Crumbs more. Takes up less slots. Like Priest, you have to play a whole, you have to take a lot of slots up to play Priest. Because if I if I play Hydra, then I don't have Veil of Summer protection for it. And they can just go claim my Arboreal Grazer, make me sacrifice with Priest. And it's rough. Hmm. That's also rough, though. Now they can just have the Fabled Passage. Ugh, that's annoying. The Fabled Passage just does that one point of damage. That's really annoying. Um, I don't know if Deckmaster is working or not. I guess if some people are saying it's not working, I'll try, I'll try closing it out and restarting it. I just closed it out. I'm restarting it. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I guess it's not. I don't know. Usually all these things are green, but this time two of them are white and this one's red. But there's nothing really for me to do about that. I don't. That's Mayhem Devil. It's very problematic. If I sacrifice a food to try to draw a card, they just sacrifice their Fable Passage and kill... Or, sorry, not to draw a card, to gain life. They sacrifice their Fable Passage and kill my goose.
Well, I'm glad we're not putting any Planeswalkers down to the bottom. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Yeah, and I, and I... Oko! Oko to the rescue. Alright, how do we want to do this? I think it's just turn the Mayhem Devil into a 3-3. Is the first step. Keep it from doing all its triggers. I'm certain you're quite charmed to meet me. Hostile to the truth. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. Um, the reason to keep a Boreal Grazer in hand is because of the Royal Scions being able to loot it away. The reason to play it is just give me, give me more things to Elk and give me another blocker. Let's play it. All right, now this turn I'll be elking the priest. Oh no, there's a backup priest. All right. So we still won that match even though I had lethal the first game and just threw it away. I I played really really bad that first game. Well, I just had the I just had the really bad turn. I just missed the very easy gain 2 life with cracking a food line. Great game 3 life with cracking a food. All right, I'm going to reset Arena. I always need to reset this after a few matches. All right, we're going to play one more match. So two and one. Yeah, we earned that win after after trying not to get that win after the first match. And the first game, we still came back and won games two and three. Yeah, no Kiora. Just, there's too many good three mana cards. Like I want to play Kiora, and then of course with Kiora, I want to play Gruel Spellbreaker. And then you know we have all the three mana Planeswalkers that we have right now: Domri, Royal Scions, and Oko. And then I want to play Mu Yanling also. 
Moo Yanling's another good one with Ro with um Ro Moo Yanling's good with both Spark Double and with Bio Essence Hydra. You know, being able to plus two every turn. Too many cards. Hello. <laughs> If the geese were 0-1, then you'd be able to play a Domery, have a goose fight a goose to kill the goose. That'd be pretty big. Mirror match? Every tale about me is absolute nonsense. True. Surely you must be famished. So now alone. <laughs> How about it, boys? Quite the nibble. Uh, the little mu the three mana Mu Yanling. We got a mirror match here. So that's what it's looking like. So the grazer has the reach. I can hold back. Hold back these geese. It's not poisoned. Trust me. We are the many. So wait a turn to play this crisis. Be able to get this Oko out of here. May we meet again. Or if they not. have another Oko though, they can kill my Domery. That that would be sad. No, I do not, Pedro. Hmm. Speaking of things that are sad, that would count. Kills Domery. Expect me to tuck my tail between my legs. Hmm. In order to play Krasis for four, I have to get rid of the food. Oh, well, it's worth it. No, I mean, I attacked with the goose. I couldn't make food with it. Yeah. Um, if if Oko... Like, it, it depends on what happens. If it's just Oko getting banned, Simic is still going to be very good and very popular, but the the elementals will be a lot better again. 
uh, especially like Cavalier of Thorn. But yeah, Cavalier of Thorn, Risen Reef. Um, those cards will be a lot better. Basically, all of the Cavaliers will be better. Um, Yurok, again, be able to play that card. Yeah, Yurok in particular. If it's just Yurok getting banned. No, Wizards has not said that you're your that Oko is going to get banned. That's just speculation. Mm, a quest of mystery. Just speculation at this point. Who's more foolish, the fool or the fool who rules them? I wanted the wolf um, back as, as a blocker. Yeah, I could have attacked with it, and they're they're not going to block. That's true. I could have gotten three points of damage in, but I, I honestly preferred having the blocker. Let's broaden your existence. Yeah, it's happened. Yeah, there's there's been other cards that have been in a lot of different decks like Oko before. Um, yeah, it's happened. There's only five sets in standard, and so if you have a card that is more powerful relatively to everything else, it's going to just kind of find its way in a lot of the decks, and that's what happened with Oko. Um... Sometimes they get banned, sometimes they don't. Knowledge is the greatest virtue. I don't think it's automatic that it's going to get banned or anything. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Yeah, that's really good. This is my cue to exit. Let me synthesize the facts. That's really good. I was going to be able to use Oko to make a food, and then Goose make another food, and then play the Wicked Wolf as a 5-5 to kill their wolf. Dang. You will not block our noble path. Pretty sure my opponent's got this one. We'll see. You have the heart of a coward. Hmm. What is my strategy here? Yeah, that, that Royal Scions 
whenever they're their head on the battlefield the creatures that was awesome strike fear into the hearts of the wicked Yeah, like I, like I said, it, just ramping with, I mean, um, Risen Reef, Krasis, Nyssa, Cavalier of Thorns, and then Mass Manipulation, Agent of Treachery. Still going to want to be doing all that stuff. I think that would be the next top tech if there's no Oko. Like, Nissa Krasis is still better than what other people are doing. How do I survive this first strike trample? I don't know if I can. Because they can even just like give this to the goose. I mean, I guess I have to fight Goose. Go to four. I don't know how I'm supposed to survive this, honestly. This row of Scions, double Wicked Wolf thing here. I will learn what nobody yet knows. Yeah, Deckmaster is not working. Okay, so we need the Ether Gusts. I think that's about the only card I want to play. But we've got to get rid of Royal Scions and Oko. Lava Coil is good against Questing Beast. So that could be a thing. Lava Coil is not so good against Wicked Wolf. Unless I turn into an elk or something first. I don't really want to cut Planeswalkers to make BioWest and Sidra worse. Yeah, I guess the Stainful Stroke would counter both Wolf and Beast. Both of those cards that were problematic.
I don't have a one mana card with this hand, but we're not always going to have a one mana card. It's not like if I mulligan, we automatically have a one mana card. But we have, you know, Scions, loot away Domri, you know, get to like Questing Beast, into Bio Essence Hydra, and so on. Like, we have a good hand. Side, I am always hmm. What is my strategy here? I guess playing Questing Beast would be bad against Wicked Wolf, though. It looks like my opponent's probably sitting on a bunch of Wicked Wolves. I kind of wish I would have kept that Dom right now. Let me synthesize the facts. Yeah, I kind of wish I would have kept that Dom right. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I would be playing here. Um, this is tough. I guess I just give him Wicked Wolf. All right, that's fine. That's not a counter for Bio Essence Hydra, so that's good. So that's good. They're just sitting on more counter spells. So that's. I will land what. I mean, I'm gonna be able to ultimate this. Royal Silence next turn. No sword can pierce my scales. Come to me. Not a counter spell. What do they got going on over here? Agent of Treachery? That would have been bad. It was Agent of Treachery. That's a random guard right there. All right. <laughs> Watch this. Oh my gosh, they got ether gust from me. You've got to be kidding me. There is no peace in defeat. Well, I mean, I have to kill this robber of the rich, otherwise they'll be able to attack and then play the Ether Gust and get rid of my Bio Essence Hydra. So I'm gonna have to ult I'm gonna have to like when I ultimate here, I'm gonna have to do the damage to the robber of the rich, but I need to play the Bio Essence Hydra first, make it a 12 12. Man, 
what a random robber of the rich. It was awesome though. Killed my Sarkin and We like to finish each other's What? Attack already. Hmm. Yeah, seven damage I have to do there. Well, I wouldn't mind another Royal Scions. Can't kill the Hydra with Wicked Wolf. We begin. Look to the skies. All right, 1818 by West See, it's not too fancy, but it, it wins games. It can win games. All right, gonna take out a Domri and the Spark Double and play two Lava Coils. Being on the draw, <clears throat> being a little slower. If they're playing Robber of the Rich, I want to play a couple coils. <laughs> All right, game three. The Teamer, Planeswalker, Mirror. They're playing Questing Beasts and Robber of the Riches, and I'm playing Bioessence and Hydras. Let's see who gets this. Here we go. Again, I'm keeping because of Once Upon a Time. The next BNR update is in eight days. It's it's on the eighteenth. A week from tomorrow. Every tale about me is absolute nonsense and absolutely true. I think a little merriment is in order.
Honestly, I probably should just play the Grazer and then play the Temple of Mystery here, right? No. No, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Alright, Matthew. Yeah, you let me know on Wednesday how it is. So getting rid of the goose, it's possible they don't have blue mana now. I assure you our deal is worth your while. Ugh, this route where the rich is so annoying. <clears throat> well, if they want to keep Oko, they don't have blue mana. We know they don't have a land in hand. <laughs> Tomorrow is being older day. Also, hi, everyone. Tomorrow is being older day. I'd really like to draw land here. Just to get a card out of my hand, and mostly for Robert the Rich. I'm playing, you know, Grazer, Gust. I'm going to Gust my Goose. Uh, that's unfortunate. They get to get a card out of their hand. So they're going to be able to... It's unfortunate now they get to trigger the robber and I'm of course putting it to the bottom of my library. I guess if they if they don't have any card to play here. They still won't be able to trigger robber. Darn. Super darn. So now I have a blocker for the robber. 
Like a good blocker. Check that. Never mind. Think up a fun fate for you. Definitely hoping my opponent draws a blue land. No, 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 no. It's a blue card. A blue card that they can't play. A blue card that they can't play. So they can't play anything. They can't trigger the robber. Not a blue land. A blue card. Good. Huh. Oh, right. They get to cast those things anyway. Right. Even if they don't trigger. That's how that card works. All right, well, this should be game, because they should just be able to cast the once, my Once Upon a Time and then recast their Oko. Man, how crazy is this? Robber of the Rich has been insane good. It's been so good. Okay. Let's broaden your existence. So if my opponent just ticks up on a, a on a grazer and attacks me, I die. But I'm going for going for the win. I'm hoping they don't see that. I think I probably should have ticked up the Oko on the beast previously, but I don't think I really ever could. It's also lethal. That robber of the rich. 
crazy. Not a card I'd expect in the deck, but it did. Uh, it was just amazing. It kept me from hitting land drops that I needed. Got my opponent really good, really good spells. Mythic wild card. We'll take that. All right, so another 2-2. Two, two. That's... You know, that's... That's respectable and everything. Deck definitely fell to off. As I as I talked about a, a lot, you know, just throughout the whole video, there's just so many cards that you can be playing in these colors. Um, and it's so it's pretty hard finding the correct ones. I wasn't very happy with the Boreal Grazer. I yeah, I, I wasn't I wasn't happy with the Boreal Grazer. I think that next time I think I'd just replace it with Paradise Druid. I know that like at times, you know, it's trying to have like the turn two plan, but honestly the the grazers weren't good. Um but yeah, Bioessence Insider was awesome. This card was really good. This card's still just just pretty underrated. And um and yeah, that's that's kind of the thing about it. It's it's still just underrated. It's a very good card. But the the grazers were were bad. So yeah, let's play Paradise Druids next time. That hopefully will help us get more mana and everything there. All right, but that's Teamer Midrange. All right. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. And also leave some comments. Um, you know, there's, you know, yeah, always like seeing the comments and everything over there. So please do those. But that's it here for Teamer Midrange. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.